Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I am here today to do my update for Tiny Pans. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab project and it is basically our Pan That Palette theme for 2021. And for this project, we basically selected a palette with small pans. It could be small in size. It could be small in the amount of powder or eyeshadow in the actual palette itself. So it just depended on what you had in your collection. And the creator for the theme for this project was Sarah Tate. Jessica always says in her videos that the creator of Pan That Palette was Amber F, which is absolutely true. I remember watching Amber F way, way back in the day. I haven't watched her videos in a very long time, but I'm kind of tempted to go back and, and kind of see what she's got going on because it's been a while. I remember whenever she first panned like her first palette, I was like, oh, never thought about doing that. Since then I've pan, I've tried panning three or four palettes. I've never successfully panned an entire palette in the time frame. I did finish the Urban Decay, original Urban Decay palette, but it took me, I think I finished panning it the, year, the next year. Anyway. The palette I'm panning this year is the Lorac Pro 3 palette. And let me show you what my palette looked like last month. And this is how my palette looks now. Woohoo! Look at all that pan. Ah. So before we get into nitty gritty, we're gonna grab our makeup wipe and I'm gonna grab my Thrive Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna do the back side of this palette palette the powder and just wrap the wipe around the powder and then basically I just kind of have it where it's like that so I'm grabbing the edges of the makeup wipe on the back and then we're going to take our palette and just swipe this over the front to clean my grubby gross well-loved palette there we go so much better yeah that's so much better all right, so lots of changes since the last month. So obviously I have finished both of these two shades here and those were Blanc, I think it was Blanc, and Canvas, right? That was Blanc? Yeah, it was Blanc. And I had mixed those two and repressed them together and used them to set my eyeshadow or eyeshadow primer and I was able to finish both of those. So super excited about that. I also repressed Pink, Nude, and Clay, these two, and I was able to finish Pink, Nude. And as you can see, I am very close to finishing um, Clay. And I was hoping to have it finished by today, but I wasn't able to. So it is, uh, I am actually wearing this palette on my eyes today and I'll kind of walk through the colors that I used for the eye look. I also do have another shadow that I used to add some sparkle. In addition to repressing those shadows, I also repressed Chocolate and Terracotta, which uh, is are these two shadows here. And I mentioned in my last video that I was hoping it would help make them easier to use, and it has. It's made them a little bit more powdery and easier to blend, so I'm actually able to get a bit more pigment by using, by repressing them, and then I'm able to get more powder on the brush and actually blend those shadows out, so it worked out well for that. I mean, it doesn't really look like I've used that much of them, but I can actually see some like usage on the side of terracotta. And I don't know if you guys would be able to see that, but anyway, 
I'm able to see progress on that. I haven't used cool taupe. Did I say it was cool taupe? I don't know. I haven't used cool taupe too much, but I do feel like it's very, a lot more usable now. Both of those shades are a lot more usable now. So for dark brown, I did expand the pan and I almost have side pan in that shadow. So we're, we're getting there. It is a shadow that I use kind of in the outer corner and the pan did expand for sure. It got bigger. And let's see, almond pearl. I was able to hit a lot more top pan in that shadow and expand the pan quite a bit as well. Now the other big changes, I mean, there were a lot of big changes in this palette, but the other big change is I hit massive pan in rose bronze. That was actually a big surprise for me. It was like all of a sudden I was, I actually used the shadow, didn't even notice I hit pan until later that day. I was like, oh my God, I hit pan in that. And then now it's massive. We're making good progress there. Medallion is this shade right here and I expanded the pan and actually hit top pan since the last update. So it's it's going well. That shadow is actually really bad. It's super powdery. I mean the the pigment is not that great. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, once I get it over a the, uh, the Too Faced glitter glue, it's not bad. But as you can see, like it's it's almost non-existent on my hand. It's pretty bad. It cr it's really crumbly. It's really crumbly. So this is over glitter glue and this is without. So you can tell the difference. It's pretty, pretty significant. So if you have this palette, definitely use the shimmer shades over a some kind of tacky base because otherwise these really don't perform very well. And then of course, amethyst, I just expanded the pan a significant amount. I mean, I'm very close to finishing that. I may have to repress that pretty soon because it's going to be a bit difficult to get my brush in there. The same thing with dark mocha. Like I use that today and it's getting to the point where it's getting a bit difficult to get my brush in there. Now I haven't hit top pan or side pan or anything like that. That really hasn't been a focus. I've just been using it, uh, but I am like I, one more use and I'll hit top pan in that shadow. So it's going to need to be repressed pretty soon. I am really close to hitting pan in light gold. Like that is, uh, I actually used it in the corner of my eyes, uh, corner in the very corner here of my eye look today. And I, I can tell I am super close to hitting pan on that. So I should I probably will have pan in that next month. Now, I don't think I mentioned it last month, but I am not using the blacks at all. Like that is not, those aren't shadows that I'm panning in this palette. Just not doing it, not doing it. So what I'm wearing on my eyes today is I have clay as kind of like the base of my crease. And then I went in with terracotta in, in my crease as well. I then used dark brown to smoke out the outer corner. And on my lids, I have dark mortar, <laughs> mortar, <laughs> dark mocha in like the very outer portion of my lid. I used medallion in the center. And then I used light gold in the inner portion. And then after that, I was like, light gold just isn't doing it enough for me. So I topped the inner portion with ColourPop Amaze, which is this one here. And I really kind of had to swipe it on there a couple of times to get the effect that I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. I think last month I forgot to mention goals. And I usually just use the palette until, you know, but let's, let's talk, we'll talk goals. <laughs> so goals for next month. Obviously, I, I don't think I'll have any problems finishing clay. I would like to hit 
side pan in dark brown, which I don't think would be a problem either. I would like to finish like half of what's left in dark mocha. So like use ha the top half of dark mocha. And same thing with amethyst. Use that kind of top portion of amethyst and just kind of leave this bottom half left. And uh, hit pan and light gold. And I think those are gonna be my goals for this palette. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit pan and terracotta. I still think that's a, it seems like a packed shadow. I don't know. It's an interesting shadow. I don't know. I can't, I, I can't quite figure out what's going on with that one, but it does seem to be a color that I'm going to use quite frequently. And it was funny. I was watching Kat from Beauty News. She's panning two of the Lorac palettes, the Pro 1 and I think Pro 2. And one thing she mentioned, which I thought was really interesting, and I agree with her, is that this, these Lorac palettes, you can't go in with several different colors. Otherwise, it starts to look muddy. And absolutely true. Once you start blending out a lot of these mattes, several of these mattes all together on the eye, it doesn't look great. Whereas I can go in with several different pink colors with, you know, like a Marc Jacobs or an Urban Decay and an Anastasia, like three or four of those pink toned colors together and the look turns out great, but I can't do that with three or four of the Lorac pat colors easily, if that makes sense. It's just, it starts to look a little muddy. Now I do, I think I mentioned last time I do like to use amethyst in my outer corner. This is not a lid shade for me. It has like no, it's a, it's more of a satin, but it doesn't really have much of a punch. I use it more of a, as like as a matte. Yeah. <laughs> that's a matte shade to me. So that's how I've been using it. So anytime I do like a berry tone look, I use it as, a, I use this as a matte shade. So. Anyway, I am really happy with how this is going. I'm hoping that I'll have, I mean, obviously I'll have clay done. I'm hoping, I mean, I would love to have another shade finished. I just don't know what shade that would be. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So anyway, that is my update for this project. Let me know how your Tiny Pans project is going down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Hi, Zixter. Why are you sitting on my shoes? What's up, baby? Come here. Come hang out behind me. Ziggy's like just staring at me over there. Come hang out with us. What are you doing, Ziggy? Hi. Oh. Hi. Come say hi. Say hi. You're on this side. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. <gasps> well, hello, sir. Hello. Aren't you pretty? Yeah. You're just out of frame, though. Hi. your banana. Not interested. You gotta trim those nails. <laughs> Okay.
gonna do what he's gonna do. 